Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Fizz, the title trickster. Fizz is a tricky melee assassin and fighter. Full of redirection, disruption, and speed, Fizz can dart around combat and quickly burst down frail targets. Or, if you prefer to slug it out, Fizz can also stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the biggest of foes, methodically dismantling them and shrugging off major attacks. Fizz's passive is Nimble Fighter. Fizz can pass through other units at all times as though he had used Ghost. Additionally, he takes reduced damage from basic attacks. Urchin Strike damages and charges through target enemy, also applying on hit effects. When Fizz uses Urchin Strike, he always moves a set distance forward, meaning that if you use it while directly next to an opponent, you'll appear far behind him. I take Urchin Strike at level 2 and max it last. Sea Stone Trident passively causes Fizz's basic attacks to apply a debuff that damages for a flat amount plus a percentage of missing health over a few seconds. When activated, Fizz's basic attacks also deal flat bonus damage and apply Grievous Wounds, which reduce heals on your target for a few seconds. I take Sea Stone Trident at level 1 and max it immediately. Playful slash Trickster has two parts. First, Fizz dashes to a nearby location and becomes untargetable, also dodging any attacks and spells aimed at him. Reactivating the ability will cause Fizz to dash again, damaging all enemies he lands on. If you don't reactivate the ability, Fizz will become targetable again after a half second, damaging and slowing nearby enemies in the process. I take Playful slash Trickster at level 3 and max it second, after Sea Stone Trident. Chum the Waters is Fizz's ultimate. Fizz sends out a skill shot nuke that stops in the ground or latches onto the first enemy champion it hits, slowing the target. After a brief delay, a shark comes out and eats the fish, knocking up, damaging, and slowing all enemies in the area. Fizz's early laning is extremely powerful if you're willing to take risks. Walk up and poke your opponent with Sea Stone Trident. Nimble Fighter will make the minion counterattack bearable as you continue to whittle down your target. Upon hitting level 2, activate Sea Stone Trident and dive in again with Urchin Strike while landing more basic attacks. Push in for the kill when you can. In this case, I use Ghost to catch up to Galio after he flashes, killing him with Ignite. Fizz's bag of tricks can escape dangerous situations as well. Here Skarner ganks me in mid lane. I pop Ghost, and when he gets near, I dive past him with Urchin Strike. I make my way to the brush, walk to the wall, and hop over with Playful slash Trickster, making it to the turret alive. Good reflexes can also make or break a great Fizz player. I fight Galio in mid lane, pushing in with Urchin Strike and Sea Stone Trident. When he turns to cast Resolute Smite, Playful slash Trickster dodges the attack and then damages him further. I pull back away and ready my next offensive. I see him ready another Resolute Smite and dash into him with Urchin Strike, dodging another spell and dealing more damage. Eventually, Riven comes in to gank, so I run in, dodge to the side, and dive in with Urchin Strike and Sea Stone Trident for the kill. In teamfights, try to find squishy targets first. As a fight erupts in mid lane, I first dash through Galia with Urchin Strike. As Graves come in, I get behind him with Playful slash Trickster. I let the slow hit him so that he can't dodge Chum the Waters. After taking him down, I head up towards Skarner and Sona. Using Urchin Strike, I head in on Skarner and tag him with Ignite so that he will die underneath the turret. Once the turret tries to shoot me, I dodge outward with Playful slash Trickster and take down Galia with my team. Another team fight breaks out in mid. Once again, I dive onto Graves, taking him out with Sea Stone Trident into Urchin Strike and an Ignite to finish the job. After that, I head back in toward the fight and look for my next opponent. I push away Sona and head back in to attempt another kill. I dive on a Galia with Urchin Strike and Playful slash Trickster, but he saves himself with Bulwark. I Urchin Strike onto Sona to run away from Skarder and the enemy Fizz. I keep trying to escape using my abilities and make a run for my turret. When Skarner shoots out Fracture, I dodge it with Playful and let Fizz drop to land the slow on Skarner. As he continues chasing, I tag him with Chum the Waters, which causes him to die to Soraka and our turret. Galio then flashes in to take me out but I've outranged Resolute Smite, and as he enters the base, I hit him with Urchin Strike and Sea Stone Trident for the kill. Urchin Strike can be used to kill enemies beyond your primary target. I see Graves get low, and dive onto Nocturne with Urchin Strike, which places me behind him and in range of Graves for the kill. 
Playful slash Trickster then allows me to pick up Nocturne for another kill. Chum the Waters takes down Ramis, and we start to capture the Windmill. Fizz's front-loaded burst allows her to take out squishy enemies easily. I dive Graves with Urchin Strike, dodging Buckshot. Playful slash Trickster dodges both the turret and his smokescreen, buying enough time for Lee Sin to close in and help pick up the kill. Playful slash Trickster also allows Fizz to dodge localized spells, like Crowstorm. Fiddlesticks attempts to kill me from the brush, so I dodge away and then come back in when the ability ends. I continue to poke at him with Seastone Trident. Then, when he casts Dark Wind, I dodge with Playful slash Trickster and take him down. Because Fizz has so much burst, you can take out opponents before they can react to you. I happen to cross Fiddlesticks while low on health. I tag him with Chum the Waters and wait. Once it knocks him into the air, I head into the brush and dive with Seastone Trident and Urchin Strike. As a result, he falls without even being able to touch me. As Fizz is a very intricate champion, consider playing him with a lot of durability for your first few games, able to shrug off a lot of damage until you learn all his tricks. With this in mind, try the following build in Classic. Take Magic Penetration Marks, Flat Armor Seals, Flat Magic Resist Glyphs, and Flat Health Regeneration Quintessences. This build will allow you to control almost any lane in the game, and scale up decent durability through the mid-game. For Masteries, 9021 will give you excellent cooldown reduction and magic penetration, with experience gain and bonus mana to keep your abilities flowing. Additionally, Ignite and Ghost will let you stick to and destroy single enemies. For items, start with Boots of Speed and 3 Health Potions. Take a fast Catalyst the Protector, upgrading to Rod of Ages, then upgrade to Sorcerer's Shoes and grab Riley's Crystal Scepter as well. From there, take stock of how well you're doing. Rabidin's Death Cap and Lichbane will give you tons of burst damage, while options like Zonia's Hourglass, Abyssal Scepter, and Guardian Angel will help keep you durable. Finish up with a Void Staff if your opponent starts stacking Magic Resist. On Dominion, where Death is more forgiving, or as you get more accustomed to Fizz's playstyle, consider a much more offensive build. Magic Penetration Marks, Ability Power Per Level Seals, Ability Power Per Level Glyphs, and Flat Ability Power Quintessences load Fizz up with offense, taking enemies down with magic damage. 2109 Masteries allow you to deal much more damage, taking everything ability power and damage related. On Dominion specifically, you don't need bonus mana, and instead should take increased movement speed and utility. Ignite and Ghost are still great choices here for Fizz. For items, opening with a Prospector's Ring and Boots of Speed before transitioning into Ionian Boots of Lucidity, Rabidin's Death Cap, and Lichbane set up Fizz for extreme burst damage. Add further damage with Void Staff, Will of the Ancients, and Zonia's Hourglass.